Liver hemangiomas are actually very common um, vascular malformation in the liver. They are actually a composition of veins and vessels. Um, most of them are asymptomatic. You don't need to do anything about that. But when they start to grow in size, they can cause pain, they can cause compression of the uh, organs or vessels or uh, bile duct, and uh, uh, they need to be treated at that time. As I mentioned, most of those are asymptomatic and there's a uh, incidental finding. You know, they go for an exam of the abdomen, a CT, an ultrasound, and they say, oh, you have an hemangioma. And most of the time, you don't do anything about it. But when they become large and then symptomatic, then you start to realize that, you know, I have pain or, you know, when I have difficulty, when I'm eating, there is some compression. And uh, so most of the time that pain in the uh, upper abdomen is uh, where patients start to get worried. You can have large hemangiomas that don't have any, don't cause any symptoms or pain. When patient had uh, symptomatic large hemangioma, uh, the most uh, definitive treatment was surgery and surgery could be very difficult in this patient and with a lot of morbidities and some uh, complications. Uh, the problem also with surgery is that uh, it cannot be offered to every patient depending on the liver function. Sometimes they have to remove an important part of the liver and then some of those patients come back uh, over years with the hemangioma is coming, growing back again. So uh, recently, there has been some changes in the treatment of hemangiomas. First of all, the understanding of hemangiomas are actually low flow vascular malformation. And for that, um, we know that in other areas of the body, low flow vascular malformation can respond very well to some antibiotics and sclerosing agents. Uh, so recently, a few uh, centers across the world have tried intra-arterial and or direct injection of bleomycin into the uh, large hemangiomas. Bleomycin uh, is a sclerosing agent and has been very, very effective in treating those hemangiomas. So when a patient uh, is referred for giant hemangioma, what we do is just first check with the imaging to see the size, to see how we can access it. Most of those can be accessed with the ultrasound or with CT scan, and we can bring those patients here, put the patient on the uh, angio table, use an ultrasound to access the, uh, the hemangioma, and inject slowly that blue mycin. It literally takes less than 20 minutes for the whole thing. Uh, sometimes we need to reposition the needle, but the patient is sedated and we give local anesthetics. So it is very well tolerated. So after the procedure, patients usually have no symptoms. There may be some discoloration at the area of injection. Some patients may feel some pain or shivering, but that's really, really rare. And uh, What's very interesting is that this shrinkage will take time and over the next six months after the injection, sometimes this tumor disappears or becomes so small. And so we usually recommend the patient to go home, don't worry about it, we do an uh, imaging, usually MRI at six months and we measure the volume and most of those patients have improved symptoms and decreased size of the hematuromas. This is actually a revolution in this treatment and uh, most patients don't need surgery anymore.